Five Important Lessons Young People Should Learn from J.P. Getty Jean-Paul Getty was born on December 15, 1892 and is famous as a British-American petrol industrialist and founder of the Getty Oil Company as well as the patriarch of the Getty family. In 1957, Getty was named the richest living American by Fortune magazine and in 1966, he was named the world's richest private citizen in the Guinness Book of Records with an estimated worth of $1.2 billion. As of the time of his death on June 6, 1976, his net worth was upwards of $6 billion, approximately the value of $25.8 billion in 2017. So how did John Paul Getty become so wealthy and what can young people learn from him? In this video, we will share with you 5 important lessons young people should learn from John Paul Getty. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Lesson 1. Knowledge and Success Go Together In 1906, when Getty was 14 years old, he chose to attend Harvard Military School for one year after which he attended the Polytechnic High School where he discovered his passion for reading which earned him the nickname Dictionary Getty. From his exposure to diverse literature, Getty became fluent in French, German and Italian and as he grew older, he became conversational in Spanish, Arabic and Russian. This knowledge will serve him well over the course of his business life dealing with people from all over the world. Arabic, for example, enabled his unparalleled expansion into the Middle East, earning him millions of dollars. The lesson for young people Learning is one of the basic tools that you need for success. It lessens the challenges you face in your quest for success in that the more knowledge you obtain, the more opportunities will open up for you. It goes without saying that completing increasingly high levels of education allows you to learn and apply ideas and theories to achieve a wider variety of goals. You will be more prepared to meet higher work standards that your career or business path demands, thereby making you more successful. Nelson Mandela once said, Education is the most beautiful weapon which you can use to change the world. Lesson 2 do something different. By the time Getty was 22 in 1914, he became intent on striking it rich as an oil producer. So he went to Tulsa, Oklahoma, where he received a loan of $10,000 from his father to invest in the expansion of the family's oil field holdings. The first lot that he bought by relying on geographical data, unlike the experienced veterans, who relied on instinct alone was the Nancy Taylor No. 1 oil well site near Heskell, Oklahoma. This lot struck oil in August 1915 and by the next summer, Getty was receiving 40% of the net production royalty that would eventually make him a millionaire. The lesson for young people It is very easy to conform to what is seen as the norm. As a young person, you may even feel pressure to do things as they have always been done. Your new and bright ideas may be stifled by the veterans in the business. But if you want to be successful, you need to focus on the excitement of discovering, improving, exploring and experimenting on those new ideas that come to you. Focus on the journey and not the destination. Dare to be different and the rewards will be yours for the taking as it was for Getty. Lesson 3. Make Clever Investments During the Great Depression in the 1930s, Getty had the sound judgment to begin investing his resources. He took possession of Pacific Western Oil Corporation and the acquisition of the Mission Corporation and by 1967, merged them into Getty Oil. While in the process of this acquisition in 1949, Getty paid Ibn Saud, founder of Saudi Arabia, 
cash worth $9.5 million and $1 million per year for a 60-year drilling right to a piece of barren land close to the border between Kuwait and Saudi Arabia despite no oil discovered there. It wasn't until 1953, after $30 million had been spent on the land, that Getty finally struck oil. And from that year onward, Getty's lucrative gamble resulted in the production of 16 million barrels a year. This investment was largely responsible for making Getty one of the richest people in the world. The Lesson for Young People As a young person seeking wealth, one thing you should know is that in order to be successful, every investment you make is a gamble of some kind. Investing might sound more intimidating than it is, especially when you're doing it for the first time because there's always a possible risk for loss. But one thing you should know is that there's also an even bigger potential for serious gain as it was for Getty. So, invest wisely. Lesson 4 Tone down the extravagance Getty was renowned for his ability to bargain on almost everything to obtain the lowest prices possible. This included real estate, purchases of artwork, which will be worth many millions in profit years later, and even suites at luxury hotels. He would go as far as reusing stationery such as manila envelopes and other office supplies instead of accumulating expenses purchasing new ones. Author John Pearson once commented, He would allow himself no self-indulgence in the purchase of a place to live, a work of art, even a piece of furniture unless he could convince himself that it would appreciate in value. The Lesson for Young People Good financial management is a smart tactic to ensure your business success. You see that there is more cash immediately available for making investments and increasing your income. Turning down extravagance also means finding better deals for the same thing in the areas of your business life that you care about, thereby increasing their value in the long run. Lesson 5. Have a profitable hobby Getty first discovered his love for art collection in the late 1930s when he was inspired by a relation of Sir Winston Churchill, Mrs. Amy Guest's collection of 18th century French paintings and furniture while he was living in his rented penthouse in New York City. Getty promptly began to purchase furniture from the 18th century and with his extreme bargaining skills, obtained them at rock-bottom prices, encouraged by the depressed art market at the time. What he aimed to achieve in the process of his collecting was to buy art items at a bargain price in order to ensure a definite return on his investment. In the 1950s, Getty went even further by acquiring Greco-Roman sculptures which paved the way to the building of the Getty Villa in 1970 to store the collection. As at the time of his death in 1976, the value of the 600 items he owned including Rubens, Titan, Renoir and Monet paintings were valued at more than $4 million, roughly equivalent to $17.5 million in 2018. The Lesson for Young People Turning your hobby into a business is a very good way to dip your toes into business ownership by leveraging something you are already passionate about. Mark Worcester said, When you are in business, you have to learn how to adapt and think quickly on your feet. Pursuing so many different hobbies reinforces that. In conclusion, if you are a young person and you want to be successful in life, devote your time to learning. It pays. Dare to do something unique. Be clever in your investments. Learn the art of frugality, especially as you start out. Lastly, pick up a hobby that can make you money and relax you at the same time. Thank you for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we unpicked for you to enjoy next.
We love you.